Recording. This is recording. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. We are La Joyride, Mariella. Hi. And Santi, we're going to be showing you some videos of what it's like to live full time in an RV. Leave a comment and let us know if you like the video. Click the subscribe button. Today we'll be showing you everything about our little home on wheels. So this is a 2019 Coachman Freelander 21QB. It is a 24 foot RV. It's on a Chevy 4500 chassis. Here we're going to give you an RV tour. <laughs> Okay. Can't wait to show you guys around. Can't wait to show you guys around our home. <laughs> okay. I think we're done. Yes. <laughs> This is our kitchen, one of our favorite spots that we remodeled. We cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner in here pretty much every single day. The backsplash is simply just stick on tile. I think the whole thing that we did cost under a hundred bucks. We used Windex, which was really helpful. You put Windex on the back and you can kind of move the tile around and you can put it in place and then it really sticks really easily. So that was a huge, huge help. Use Windex, it'll save your life. The remodel in the kitchen, aside from the backsplash, was really the countertop, the sink, and the faucet. So the countertop itself was all one piece. Jesus from Mesco Designs in San Diego, who's actually Mariela's cousin, handmade the whole thing. So he made this big, huge butcher block, cut out the sink, cut out the oven, and then with the oven cut out, he actually made this cutting board and extra counter space. These notches are awesome. They go right on the grill and they keep it from squeaking uh, when we're driving. And then this piece also fits right in here to give us some extra counter space. So that was a really good little custom design work. Thank you, Mescla. This, it's an awesome granite composite sink. And then we got this um, from E-Trailer. So not only did we get this nice little butcher block, we also got this leaf. We had a leaf before, um, but it was like small and plastic and cheapy. Um, this is a lot better. Thanks again, Miss La. Um, Santi showed you it before, but I'll show you guys again with the uh, leaf up. But this is so perfect and nice. We get to chop all of our veggies and fruit on here. And then also have the stove top and it's just, Perfect, it's all we need. But I'll show you guys inside of all of the cabinets. First off, the microwave. We hardly ever use it, but I mean, it's nice to have. Right in here, olive oil, salt, pepper, sugar for coffee in the mornings. We have all of our utensils in here. Very minimal, four of each, I believe. Two wine glasses, plastic, of course. A couple of bowls right back here, a couple of mugs, plates, and that's kind of it. And then of course our paper towels right in here. Next cabinet is the pots and pans. We have one pan, one pot. We have a little guy down here as well. This is our lifesaver. And then we have all of our knives as well. Basically everything we need is right in those two cabinets. We want to keep our kitchen very clean and simple. So instead of using this for storage space, we have it as our trash can. Fits nicely, perfect. We have extra bags in there as well. 
So this is our Dometic refrigerator. This part we actually painted. Um, this is actually chalkboard. Um, it was this brown colored. It was just looked kind of, um, not blah. It just looks kind of boring and blah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is a refrigerator. Of course, a little smaller than your typical refrigerator back at home, but still very spacious. And our freezer is more than big enough. Um, I mean, we even have bags of ice up here, all frozen veggies. It's just perfect. Besides our refrigerator, this is where we keep all of our food. We keep these awesome little plastic bins that we probably got at like Target or something. Oh, we got them at Lowe's. Okay. Akmok, have you guys tried these? These are so good. So we have snacks in here. I mean, this is, we literally, every time we go grocery shopping, we just take these out and it's super easy to know what we have in stock. We have them all categorized too in different bins. So we have like all of our canned goods, snacks, pastas, potatoes, rice, all that good stuff. Um, we have our alcohol back here, all of our wine. And it just kind of, it's nice because it's super easy to put in and out. Easy to know what you have. Snack bin, of course, is the most accessible one. But yeah, this is where we keep all of our food. So on the side of the pony wall, Jesus from Mescla made us this amazing, nice little spice rack. We have our coffee mugs, cutting boards, our strainer, and all these delicious spices out here. And that's your kitchen. Hello, welcome to our living room. This part is probably my favorite, uh, just because it doubles into not only our living room, but our dining room and our workspace. So I'll show you guys a little bit of all the different configurations on how we use this bad boy. Okay, well, first I'll show you guys our dining room slash office space. They fastened these cool little leather tabs, which are super simple to just kind of lift up. I mean, I can literally do it with one finger and then there's a latch, unclick that, and then, ta-da, have a table. You put it down, close the little latch, and then again, so easy, little leather strap, and it tucks in so nicely. Secondly, I'll show you guys how we double it, just like this. I keep this extra little leg back here when we want to double the table space. This folds up. We got these little latches built in as well. These little guys get pulled out. This side as well. You have double the space. So Santi will sit here, I'll sit here, and we'll both get some stuff done. We hardly ever use this configuration to eat, um, and we'll just both kind of use this as our work area. Pretty awesome. Again, super easy to put down. We remove these little knobs. This side gets pushed in. Other side. So this is the configuration we use the most. Um, normally I'll sit there or Santi will sit there and then we use this little guy. Perfect little stool to sit here, then we get to face each other when we're eating our meals. So we'll put this guy away just so I can show you all the other ways we use this awesome space. So same thing with these guys down here. They attached leather tabs. Easily pull them up all on each side. We have our extra pillows right back here. Just like that, we have a day bed. Another feature we knew we wanted was our bookshelves. They're super cool, super durable. They're actually screwed from the inside. 
Just like the table, these are super easy to put away. These pillows here are actually really easy to kind of just remove. And then we have these little built-in storage units. We have all the storage down here. And then easy to close, fluffy little pillow. Please stay there. <laughs> Welcome to our bedroom. Not a whole lot to it. Obviously, our bed. It's actually super cozy. It's a custom Serta mattress, and we love it. It's actually even more comfortable than our apartments back home. So it's awesome and cozy. Um, back here is also where we keep all of most of our clothing. Most of our like jackets and dresses, I guess, just kind of like stuff that we need to hang up. This is my section. Drawers, Schupladen's right in here. Schupladen is a uh, German for drawer, by the way. Thanks to a German uh, neighbor we had in Zion, who was awesome. I loved his kid. Come on, open. There's the shoe plowden. So yeah, this is where we keep all of our clothing. Um, we do have a little more storage up top, which we'll show you guys, but this is our bedroom. Welcome to our bathroom. The bathroom was so important to us. We were actually almost gonna be van lifers, but having this space, our bathroom, which we love and adore, was a deciding factor. We just couldn't give it up. So that's why we chose RV life versus uh, van life. We did change the countertop, so we changed the countertop to match the countertops out there. Um, this we replaced as well. It had this ugly, cheapy square mirror, so we added this guy, this guy, this guy's Bob Marley. I just named I just named him right now. Oh look at that. <laughs> um the walls we added the wallpaper that's matching from the bedroom. I'm not sure if you noticed that, but we just kind of wanted everything in here to kind of match out there as well. Wallpaper. Target for $30 and we love it. Super easy to put on. Just like the tip that we gave you for the tiles in the kitchen, if you use a little bit of Windex behind them, it's easy to kind of move around and place. These we actually taped on with super strength tape so that they don't move. We don't have to do anything when we're driving off. We simply take off and don't have to worry about anything kind of falling. Not a whole lot of storage space in here. We do have this down here, toilet paper, um, lotion, and of course, dry shampoo. For my home on wheels girls, you know what that's all about. Right in here, we just have the essentials. So yeah, that's our bathroom. So when we got the RV, um, it just had this little tiny flimsy curtain. So we put up a nice heavy curtain rod, sewed in these little magnets here, clicks in place, and it always stays closed. And those work so great. This is a class C RV. We have a bunch of space up here. We have a space here for all of our computers and camera equipment. So this is really nice out of the way, but accessible. We don't use it to sleep. We don't really have anyone staying over. So we, don't we have utilize friends. it. Yeah, we, it's just us two out here on the road. <laughs> so we utilize it for ourselves. There's some extra clothes up there, guitars, surfboard, medicine cabinet. Okay, so down below we have our cockpit. 
it's comfortable. It's a brand new 2019, so it's got everything that you need and it's smooth. So pretty recently, we actually decided to customize the front part as well. So we wanted to add a few little details that kind of made it our own. So we started a pin wall. Um, we also added some patches to the top of our cockpit. Um, a lot of these are national parks and then just kind of cool little fun patches that we have found along our travels and it'll be cool. So all of this will be one day filled with pins and all of this will be filled with patches. So we've got these in Crescent, Colorado. If you've ever been there, isn't it so weird but so cool? Okay guys, now let me show you our outdoor setup. Ah, there's a mosquito. Ah! for checking us out guys see you next time okay. what do you want to see what you want all just different questions that you have that you just ask us different questions you can leave a comment about a different you can leave us a please leave us a comment on and see how we kind of store things um, here let me show you what's up top and I'll show you how to store some stuff <laughs> I'm smiling for the camera. Oh, smiling for the camera. Yeah. No, you're not. Come on, that's how you're gonna do it. <laughs>